got my sausage and chicken, shrimp, crab. Okay, I'm just showing you my way of making gumbo. And let's just show you all my ingredients. The first thing I have is a roux by the brand Richards. Um, I can make a roux, but I really don't feel like doing it. And yeah, so I just bought a homemade roux. And then I got these Weiler's chicken cubes. It's just for flavor. And also I got some beef stock for flavor also. And my seasoning, Tony Sasseries. Balls Cajun Season, Cayenne Pepper, and Garlic Powder. And you just season to taste. All this is just to taste. All these ingredients right here. Next, I got my chicken breasts cut up already. And I got some Richard sauces, the Andouille kind. It's my favorite for gumbo. And I got some shrimp that's peeled and divine already. And I got my onions, white onions and green onions already cut. And last but not least, I got my... Blue crabs. I don't know if I'm going to use them all, but it's just a quick, short way of making gumbo. So, stay tuned. Okay, the first thing you do is take your roux and you just dump half. I you always use half of a thing of roux with the pot on. My pot's on medium right now. Just to loosen the roux up because it's been in a drawer for a while. So, yeah. I just take just about half of the roux and put it in there, like so. I just warm it up. And as that's melting down, I'm going to get some water. Put my roux down first so it can take lesser time to make the gumbo. I'm going to add a cup of water. Make sure you don't burn the roux because the gumbo will taste nasty if you burn it. Okay. I'm going to get another cup of water. Okay. And we're just going to let that cook through for a couple minutes. And we'll be right back. Okay, now that is, I added some more water and all the roux is dissolved. Now. I'm going to add my chicken cubes, and I have seven chicken cubes for the flavor. And two of these containers of the beef stock. Well, it's basically base, but it turns into stock whenever you put it in water. So, Okay, just add two of those in there. Stir it in real good. And we're going to add the chicken. Now I don't brown my chicken before I put it in. I just put in the chicken. Oh, I splashed. I don't know why I don't brown it. I just don't. The gumbo's already brown, so I don't feel the need to brown my chicken. So the chicken's in there. I'm gonna add my onions. Should I get all good in there? I'm gonna add some more water. Like so. Mm, and it's already smelling good. I didn't even season it yet. You can if you want to. You can season it right now. But I'm gonna add some more water. Yeah. Add my sausages. And the salsa just also brings good flavor in the chicken. Now this is gumbo right here, just chicken and sausages, but I wanted to add some more stuff to it. I'm going to let that go for a couple, for like 30 minutes. I'm going to put it on medium heat. I'm going to clean up and I'm going to make some rice and I'll be right back. Now that I have this already, the chicken and shrimp already cooked, I'm just going to add my crabs. 
Hope I don't flash like I did last time. Seasoning. Tony Sassarys, my favorite season. Always season everything with this. That much. And I just eyeball it. And my, this is my favorite season too. This and Tony Sassarys combined. My favorite. I like spice, so I need some cayenne pepper. About one, two, three, four of those. And call it powder. Now, most people add gumbo seaway or bay leaves to it, but I didn't feel like going to the store again and get some more, so this is what I'm working with. I'm going to add my shrimp. Ah! I have my rice cooking right here. This is really good gumbo. So now I'm just going to turn it off. And the gumbo is basically done. That's it. It's just whenever the shrimp's cook, that's it. There you go. Easy way to make gumbo. Took me about an hour. Turn it off. Put the lid on. It's still hot. It, this is going to be hot for hours. So you don't have to worry about going in the microwave and heating it up. And my rice is not even cooked yet. I don't have a rice cooker, so I like to cook it on the stove. So, yeah. I'll come back with it, make you guys go. Okay, my gumbo and my rice is all done. Oh, it looks so good. Let's see. 